Yes, guys, how is it going? Welcome back to the adventure. It has been a while since we've been to a game at the Etihad, so really excited to get back to the game today. Uh, it's raining, so... Well, I can't really use that as an excuse, but it is raining. It's horrible weather up here in Manchester today, uh, but always good to get back to the Etihad for a fourth round FA Cup game against Fulham. Now, we've already had some shocks on the cards. Obviously, United being disposed by Middlesbrough pe on penalties at Old Trafford. Chelsea and Plymouth and Kid Minister West Ham at the time of recording have both finished one all and are going to extra time. So there could be some upsets in those games as well. Hopefully not one today and we can see some goals. We've had a look at the team as well. It's looking very, very strong. Uh, so yeah, it's time to get back into the Etihad for about a month since the Chelsea game. So it's been a long, long time. It's good to be back. And yeah, let's get ourselves in and get ourselves ready for a fourth round game against Fulham. Come on, City. for today's game. I mean, City versus Fulham, we always tend to score a few goals against Fulham. I remember the Yaya Torre hat-trick masterclass back in 2014. He scored an absolute stunner from about 35 yards out. It's an amazing goal. Uh, we always tend to score three, four, maybe even five against Fulham whenever they come to the Etihad. There's always some goals. I think there's some goals in this today. But Fulham always riding high in the championship there. I think they're, they're either top or very, very close to the top. So they're going to be no means easy opponents. I think Mitrovic will be playing. Uh, the team looks good though. First team, uh, the, only, the only change is uh, Stephens in goal and no Ruben Diaz at the back. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a good cup counter, uh, encounter at the Etihad. Let's see who comes out on top. Hopefully City, fuck our place in the fifth round. We have the Etihad Stadium for the FA Cup fourth round. Please welcome to the Holy Blue. The two teams, our Vincent Fulham. And a big blue welcome to the current Premier League champions, our Boys in Blue. Thank you for the 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 Blue. Usually it's us scoring the quick goals at the Etihad, but no, Fulham just come screaming down the right-hand side. Great cross in from Harry Wilson, and it's finished off, and it's 1-0. Come on. Talk about a wake up call, that is what we needed. And you're most vulnerable uh, on conceding when you've just scored, and Fulham have just proved that about is that 30 that seconds, 60 seconds after they just found the lead, uh, gave, gave themselves a lead at the Etihad. City are level, Ilkay Gunder 1 scored from a Riyad Mahrez cross. Uh, yeah, well, wake up call needed. Wake up call was, was what we got basically, 1 all. The challenge. That's why you're in the team of the year, Cancelo. Oh. Saul as well. Oh! That's a might run here. You're in. He's in. I think he might have been off. Harry Wilson's on marks at the back post. Stefan's catching that. Oh, yeah! There's the turnaround done. I thought it may have been a bit longer. It's only taken about 12 minutes. The turnaround is complete. It's only taken about 10 minutes after Fulham scored. I thought it'd take a little bit longer and Fulham would hold out a little bit more. But yeah, great header from John Stones from a corner for the set piece. 2 1. Let's go. Oh. 
for about two minutes. Half an hour in, 15 to go to half time. It's so cold and it is tipping it down. This is just typical Mancunian weather. The game's pretty good though. I mean, it's been a bit slow since obviously the City come back and no goals for 10 minutes, well, 13 minutes, but still a pretty good watch actually. Fulham looked pretty good on the counter attack uh, with Mitrovic, Wilson, and uh, Carval I think it's Carvalho, the guy that scored. Probably butchered that name, so my apologies, Fulham fans. Uh, but yeah, they look quite good going forward to be honest. I like. Um, I like the CDM in the middle. I need to get names, honestly. I, I used to watch Fulham, obviously, because they're in the Premier League, but obviously since they've gone down, I haven't. But yeah, the CDM for Fulham is really, really good. I think it's about six foot three, and he's a beast, and he wins everything. So yeah, he looks like a good addition to the Fulham squad. And uh, if you play like this, they'll be in the Premier League next season. But yeah, still 2-1. Let's try and get a third before our time. Our Fulham's best player is down. This would be a huge blow if he had to go off. He's been immense. Yeah, I had to go and find out the CDM's name. It's called Nathaniel Chalaba. I don't know if there's any relation to the Chelsea Chalaba, but he is a unit. He's about six foot four. He's a beast. He wins the ball back. He's like a taller Kante. He's just there to just nip the ball away. There was an instant where Kevin was on the break and he just managed to get his foot, his foot in there to stop the counter-attack and maybe put Fulham on one of their own. Uh, but he's gone down. It should be a shame to see him go off. He's been quite good. You guys know, if you've ever been to a football match before, when you get cold and wet, it is so difficult to get yourself warm again, honestly, it's so bad. Yaz, I know you're at home, but honestly, hypothermia will be in process if you were here today, so yeah, it's a really, really cold one. Uh, but yeah, half time and it is 2 1. Obviously, Fulham scored after five minutes, and me and Dad were saying it's one of the quickest goals at the Etihad Stadium for an away team we've ever seen. I think the only one that compares since we've been coming here since uh, 2012. Um, I think the only one that compares to is Robert Coop's header uh, against when well, City played Leicester. I think that was after about four and a half minutes. So I think it's very, very tight between those two and one of the quickest away goals at the NTL Stadium. I might have missed one. Uh, City fans have had this one. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, Fulham scored first. Within a minute, we're, we're level. That is the wake up call that we needed. And well, that's the wake up call that we got. And we got the response. The most time you're most vulnerable on, uh, on conceding is is after you've just scored and Fulham were guilty of that this time and Ilkay Gundogan uh, hooked in a Riyad Mahrez cross and City had the lead about two, five to seven minutes later I was going to say two, three minutes later it's about five to seven minutes later John Stone scoring off a header from a corner since then it's been pretty dry Chalab has been a beast for Fulham and, and the attack seems to be going a lot down uh, Harry Wilson on the right hand side he fancies himself against Jao Cancelo so yeah it's been a bit of an interesting one Fulham are really really positive when they got the ball they're not looking to defend uh, they, obviously they might have been if they uh, hadn't conceded after about 40 seconds if they got ahead so I don't know about that one but yeah Fulham playing positive we just need to keep our heads if we get that third goal I think we'll win this game so next goal is all important if Fulham get it it's going to be a cup tie and a half and uh, if City get it I think we should have the job done but yeah it's been a crazy FA Cup West Ham fans I know there's a lot of West Ham fans that watch these videos uh, scoring in the 91st minute to equalise at Kid Minister and then in the 120th minute I've seen that Irons fans I've seen that Gerard Bowen with the winner there to avoid one of the biggest upsets of the fourth round uh, obviously United guilty of a big upset and Chelsea scraped by 2-1 so 2-1 in extra time for both of those early stars 
Um, yeah, so I don't think there should be an upset here, but if Fulham score the next goal, you never know. It's one all, uh, not one all at half time, it's 2 1 at half time. Let's cross to the second half. Go on! Oh! I have missed a second half kickoff and was editing the first half at half time, but yeah, let's get back to our seat for the second half. Come on, City. Oh, that's another corner. Oh. No. That's gone. Oh, no. Not the second tier, but the first tier. I'm not sure about this one. I'm interested to see the footage again. I'm not too sure about this one. I've watched it back. I'm not sure whether he did get the ball, but it's an interesting one. We'll take a pen now. Come on, Riyad. Straight in. 3-1, right here. Yeah. yeah. What a pen. An interesting one this, now the linesman actually gave the penalty, I'm not too sure whether this one's a penalty, I could be wrong, I'd love to go home and watch it on uh, on YouTube on the highlights, but for me, he might have got a little toe on the ball, but I think there was contact, but I'm not too sure whether it was enough for a penalty, the linesman gave it, and uh, Mahrez, nothing, nothing wrong with the penalty though, it was emphatic, and uh, Mahrez stuck it away, 3-1. One now, surely game over. I'm not sure whether that'll go down to Mahrez goal or an own goal. I mean, uh, it looked like it was going wide. Brilliant run from De Bruyne, a great cross in. Looked like it was going wide, but Mahrez does enough, makes it fall. Oh, Kev! Oh, make the run! Oh, good defending that. Oh, he's so frustrated with Brighton. Come on, Pell. Still going. Nice ball. Come on, Jack. Hit that jout. Oh. 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 This is brilliant. We've got the Poznan going. And we've got the Fulham fans up there doing it. Love it. Super Jack. Oh. Oh. That's it, Gundo. Well, Maris. Hat trick. Well, debatable hat trick. Oh. No. I might stay in. <laughs> Change. Feels like I'm playing FIFA with these triple changes. It's gonna be Sterling. Oh. Oh. Well, well, yeah, that's that's why I should have been going to one. Oh. Oh. Imagine if we got out of that. That would have been ridiculous. Oh! Surely just give it him! Oh, Sterling, you just gotta give it Bernardo there. Oh. <laughs> See him anyway. Bless him. Like, that was a well, the lads put the ball in. The flag did go up. They're checking it. I think it was off. I'm not too sure though. Let's see. Good header by the lap. Just offside. Oh, on, Bernardo. Hit that. No. It's at the back of the stand again. That is it. That is it, convincing, good second half performance, finished 4-1, we said 5-1 when Fulham scored actually, we thought there'd be a response and there was, the first half was the moment, obviously scoring about 45 seconds after Fulham took the lead, and then John Stones off a header from a corner, second half we got the job scored, Rio Maris with the penalty and a deflected effort to make it 4 as well, good performances all round, Lee and the lap nearly got on the score sheet but that was ruled out for offside, good day at the office for us, we're into the fifth round, I think it's the fifth, yeah, fifth round, fifth round of the FA Cup, let's get out. Every 
Everyone needs John Stones in the middle. But that is going to bring an end to the adventure here at the Etihad. We're through to the fifth round, a great 4 1 performance. I am freezing and soaked, so I'm going to get myself in the heated car, get some back uh, in the heated house, flipping egg. I need some heat. I feel like a well, I'm not, I wouldn't go as far as to say I feel like I'm in Antarctica, but it's very, very cold and wet. Honestly, I've been shivering all that. If you have enjoyed the vlog, make sure to smash the like, subscribe down below for more adventures. Also, check out my TikTok, I am posting on there daily, and we crack. 50,000 likes in about two weeks. Buzzing. So yeah, keep up keep up the support on TikTok and if you haven't, I'll link that at the top of the description. Go and check it out. Yeah, lots of uh, football opinions that I have. Uh, we'll be doing lots of different football related stuff and other sports because the Super Bowl is obviously coming up uh, at the end of next week. But yeah, if you haven't joined the vlog, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out from the very, very cold and wet Etienne.